All right, guys, starting this video off with a wheel spin. We are giving away the Lot Lizard wrap by CJ himself over at Nasty Wraps. Killer tint, killer wrap. It is on a set of 24s. You guys can win it. CJ's going to spin the wheel. What it lands on. What a weak spin for a Monday. Weak spin for a Monday? Come on. All right, whatever it lands on, guys. The multiplier for today, lsnasty.com. Go down and get entered to win. We got new hoodies, new shirts. We got new American flag design out. You guys can't miss it. Oh, six times entries for a Monday? For a Monday? Look at that. That's a good looking shirt, dude. Look at that. That shit is looking good. All right, guys. You know the deal. Go to lsnasty.com. First link in the description below. Six times entries today. So every dollar you spend will get you six entries to win the Lot Lizard, F450, 7.3, 24s, airbags, Gen Y hitch, transfer tank. It's got it all. Fries will cross your eyes. lsnasty.com. First link in the description below. Oh, is this a Cyber Monday deal? Do we need to do, should we do like 15% off on top of that? Or should we just give, give them something else? What are you thinking? 15% off. Six times entry, Cyber Monday. Go to lsnasty.com to get entered to win. Cyber Monday. Just double it, 12 times. 12 times entry? All right, all right, all right. Say less, say less. CJ hit the six times. It's Cyber Monday, so we double it. 12 times entries. Someone's winning the Lot Lizard. And you can have the option to work storms if you want. That's up to you, though. We're not going to make you work, but either way, you're going to have a badass hot rod. Mason here is going to be wiring up some lights on it, too. Look at these. Boy. Boy. Those are tough right there. Those are tough right there. All right. Look like UFO. Speaking of trucks, I got rid of my one Colorado. And this is the only Colorado we have left. This one is less molested. Still, still molested. I'm a Colorado molester. Mason got motor back in there, transmission in there. And I cooked the turbo. You guys can't tell on this thing. This thing went and saw our, our patented turbo dyno. It looks good from here. Well, you can see that there's a gap between the actual exhaust wheel and the housing. And if you take the cover off where it fans out, it's even worse. Uh, it got so hot, it melted the exhaust wheel. So this turbo is no good. It's, it's only good for, I guess, like mock-up purposes at this point, or if we want to strap it back on the turbo dyno. It's just like, listen, we just like to see sparks go flying in the air, so we made it. So, Mason is uh, assisting in this build here. Uh, Mason from uh, MJS Streetcars, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Mason. I don't think I need to introduce myself. It's been a while. You're not going to say, like, hey, I'm Mason with MJS Streetcars. What do you build? Anything you want. Not anything? Streetcars. Yeah, streetcar stuff. Like, LS swaps, you know. Cams. Can't be yeah, a full bolt on cars, stuff like that. Simple stuff. For you, for a lady swaps. Yeah. Cruisers. Got Silverado. Cruisers. Yeah, build drivers, daily driver stuff. No race cars. I mean, like, they could be race cars. Like, street car race cars. Yeah, there you go. Like, street strip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. MJS street cars. So this thing's gonna be a daily driver, so we're like, oh, this is perfect, you know? Like, we'll just, you know, do some daily driver shit with this. And, you know, we're hooking it up with AC and power steering and, like, you know, right up the MJS Streetcar Alley. Um, I, I built a turbo kit. I built a lot of nice turbo kits. This is not one of them. I uh, I did a, a good portion of it by myself late at night. I don't know what I was thinking. Like now, now that like some some months have gone by and I've had time to do other stuff, and I come back and I'm like, why would I put the turbo there? I put the turbo in such a place that it is inaccessible to work on. <laughs> Is it inaccessible? Why did I put it so low is the question that I have for myself. Because and on top of that, why did you angle the flange down? You know, I honestly I don't know. I put the turbo so low I had to beat this down with a hammer. That like the hot side would sit right here and the exhaust was just up high enough to go right there. In my mind when I was building this, I was like, yo, this is the, the greatest thing I've ever done. I was like, this is so badass, I'm a genius. Now that I'm like looking at it, I'm like, dude, this is the dumbest turbo placement ever because you can't put the manifold on. I, I have nothing wrong with it being like one piece like that, but like if the manifold, if the flange was, was kicked up where you could set the turbo on it, that'd be fine. And it's just like, it's so low. It's literally in, like I had to cut all of this out to fit. Mason was not happy. I was very less than impressed. He was so excited. Like I walk I in the shop. I was done. I walk in the shop and John is just 
stoked on this turbo uh, No, 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 don't even. You were fired up. Uh, I don't you know if I'd say around. stoked. You were jumping around. I, I, look at this, look I, at this. I come over here and look hold, at time it. Out, time out, time out, I don't think I was ever jumping around. I was you probably were. happy that I was done messing with it. Honestly, be I, I, I don't know. You were like laughing and all that. I probably was laughing because yeah. I was like, this yeah. is going to suck to take out. He was off. like, look, and he goes to put the turbo on. He's like, hold on. And he takes the manifold off. Puts the turbo on. It takes like 20 minutes for him to get it on. And then sticks it back on there and then can't get it in there because the turbo is hitting the fender. And he's like, hold on a second. Pulls it back out and starts beating on it with a hammer more and then puts it in. And I was like, yeah, John, this is a great design. I can admit when I was wrong. And this is wrong. So we got to redo it. And uh, all right. So if we look at this thing here, the welding, first of all, is I would say like decent. It's decent. You know, it's structural, that's for sure. And on top of that, the welder was messed up. The welder was messed up. I welded, the welder has since been repaired. I haven't welded with a sense, so we're gonna give it a, uh, a try here. But I don't wanna cut the flange because I got this nice Parker Speed flange, which is like, this sucker here, how much are these, like two, 300 bucks? 150 bucks? Somewhere in that price range, between 150 and 300 dollars. T4, dual two and a half inch inlet, it's nice. I don't know what I was thinking to be honest with you. I got it welded out. I'm not cutting this off because I won't be able to weld it back. So I have to cut like down here somewhere. So I think a, a good strategy, hear me out, we're just thinking out loud, is let's cut it down here, right? No, yeah, no, we'll cut it down here. That way we can weld all the way around it. Yeah. Or do I just cut it right here at the flange on this side, and we just leave this and see how see 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 how we can yeah, do it? Yeah, why don't we this. do that? Why don't we cut it off of the manifold, start there, and then because we could just MIG weld it back onto the manifold. Yeah, hundred percent. And then we can put I'll put the accessory drive back on the motor. Um, we'll put the manifold in it, and then we'll see what we can do from there. Because ideally, I think if this thing was set up more like a Silverado kit, where it was like where the turbo sits like right in here. Yeah. And honestly, it's going to be a pain because... Well, you know, I don't even mind it sitting over the fender if I just make it sit higher. I don't. I put it so low. Yeah, see, what really killed us here is we have the... Like, the angles and stuff. Like, we're not going to be able to cut it down here. You know what I mean? I'm no, gonna we're, we're going to be able to cut it like, right. Cut it right Because I think, in my opinion, that the turbo should be angled. And it would make this whole thing... Like the... It would streamline like the, flange, the whole process. The flange? If the turbo was rotated 90 degrees, you could come out of the compressor and go I mean it'd be very easy to get to the intercooler at that point and then also it give you all this room for exhaust oh shit Mason just bit I mean I know he's wearing a lesbian mullet right now but look at just look at his lesbian mullet real quick it's rough all right I don't know Listen. what you got going inside going on inside your noggin right now but I don't hate it I don't I see what you're saying turbo placement so, turbo placement like this similar to the cow What is our accessory drive? You're definitely in the way of the accessory drive. I don't think so. 100%. Do you Damn. know how to find out? I don't hate it. Put the accessory I don't hate where your mind's going right now. And and that, that's to, bothering me a little bit. If we have to, we could even go in here. I don't want to cut out like way up here to where the tire slings everything into the engine bay all the time. But if you wanted to, you can come up in here and you can cut this out here. This isn't a problem. But I see what you're saying now, as in the flange is just... Yeah, the problem is just our flange, the way it's... I really, I really screwed the pooch on that one. I do have a lot of two and a half inch still, I believe. Hey, Parker Speed, if you uh, want to help us out with a... No, 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 we can't even do that, because yeah. that's all self-inflicted. I just single-handedly destroyed that. Yeah. It's welded nice, though. What else can we use that? I think, hear me out, I think that... I think that we should... Cut this off right now. I th I'm telling you, like, at the porter band, just hack that off right now, okay? Bolt the flange up, or bolt the manifold up, and then I guess just look at it and see. Sometimes you gotta look at it. Yeah. Look at it. You wanna, like, plug that sucker right into the wall. I'll hold this thing. And no. we'll just do this. Yes, plug it Plug it in there right now. We'll, I'll, we'll just do this right here, right now. Basically just start fresh. Kind of, not all the way fresh. We'll start stale. Is that the angle you want? No, not really, but it's the best angle I can get. Wait, flip it around. Nope. 
Dude, look at the MIG weld on that. Oh yeah, we got this. Is that good? I mean... You can see it better than me. You cut it straight. This was really thick too. Like the blades on backwards. You've done that before. As John has these fantastic ideas to just do things the most wrong way possible or sketchy way possible. So we're going to turn our thinking, thinking cap, it's on, vice, probably still won't work. I'm just saying Mason, you wear that hat all the time and you don't do a lot of thinking. Oh, you're in there. Oh, oh, God dang. Thought we had it. Oh! Hold on, we got this. Yo, hold it on the face of the fan. Oh, God! Oh, God. More terrifying watching. You probably gonna have to hold the manifold so it doesn't. It's gonna pinch the blade. It's not moving down any further. <laughs> so, it's so bad. It's like a flap disc. Look at how far off that is. Here, come over here, Show CJ. It it's like off by a, a whole lot. Wait, hold on. Where is it? There it is. It's just off by. It's off by like a good like a good bit. Here, That's I'm just gonna keep going some more. Solid. Eighth inch, at least. The blade is done for. Dude, dude, dude. dude. It is so bad. Yep. Yep, I did that. Dude, how bad is that? The porter band blade at the end wasn't even cutting. Yeah, no, it's just like burning through it at this point. Hear me out. Yes. Like we just start hogging this back at like a gnarly angle. I mean, I'll cut this off right here too. Yeah. And then we'll just start like bringing it up, right? I mean, I guess the issue is it's still very far forward. But the more we cut down on this, then I could start tipping it back too. So we have potential. We put the accessory drive on it so we can see how far that way you can go with it. I guess what we could do from here is cut back on this more. That's what I think. And mm -hmm. then that will get us to go further back yeah. and then and more upright. And then what I'll do is I'll cut this in the bend here so it'll shoot it out more out so I can like we can end up having this flange like that. I was gonna say if it's over here further. And then at at least a 90 degree angle, maybe a little laid back even, if it needs to be, mm -hmm. that will give us just all the room in the world. I mean, <laughs> an inch is a lot. Dude, Mason's been living his whole life with two of them. Is the game plan going to be to cut more of this off at like an angle? Yeah. And that, but the issue Listen, is... I would prefer if we did do it with the same bandsaw blades. No, no, well, I got new bandsaw blades. But the issue is going to be... How the hell are we gonna get, see how this is like where it started to bend. If we cut this off, it's gonna be straight. So we're gonna have to bend like a tight radius 90 onto it then to meet with this, which can be a pain in the ass. So TISS Fab, which is where I get all the material from, they make some like really badass like thick stuff that like if you're hanging the weight of the turbo off is great. I, I got some 45s left in the two and a half. So I'll just order some more. We'll order some more of the tight radius stuff. And we'll weld that stuff on there. I think that's the move. The good thing is I already got the crossover good. So all I'd have to do is just like get it to meet. Yeah. So we'll cut this. We'll probably cut this right here at this bend. Bolt this up to the crossover. Connect it, tack it up, weld it out. I mean, it should just be a couple quick little welds. 
and now we have proper clearance with the upper control arm mount clearance for the steering rack yeah i'd also like to point out i watched john beat that manifold in there with a hammer up against the power steering pulley so that was interesting but now when i when i had the motor back out of this we had to swap the reluctor so i clearanced every the motor mount and everything up in there so now you can bring the manifold further over and slide it in there and make, made everything a lot more but we're on the home stretch with this thing i mean you gotta think once we get the turbo kit done the accessory drive on there then it's really just uh plug up the holly yeah would Which, get power to the factory computer it's all here so we just matt started on his however he wanted to do the harness so we'll let matt finish that his way and uh and then we put a we got the fuel tank over there with a sending unit. Yeah, um, I had to get an O-ring. That's why it's still out. But I got the O-ring now for the sending unit. So I'll put that in. And uh, probably... What, we, what, what pump did we put in it? It's just a Warbo 450, isn't 450. it? Or is that 525? It's it might like, be a 525, 525 Hellcat yeah, pump. Are we running so. this thing on? No, we're on pump gas. Yeah, really? I, I this... still think, in my opinion, we should still put an ethanol sensor in it. But This is getting a set of 160 pound an hour injectors run on pump 93 so it'll be like real deal ac heat power steering power brakes like shop truck uh, it's got the whole fab bot fab yeah. kit in it i'm thinking 550 600 horsepower on pump gas that's probably yeah where where she'll live and make good power uh stock diff uh it's got the fab bot fab upgraded drive shaft motor mount uh whole front end kit the whole drop in the rear everything's all fab bot fab on this so check those guys out yeah uh, the fab bot fab stuff it fit great like putting the motor in the trans all that i mean it came with a cross member like it, it was so simple the their clutch kit worked great like it, it they, they literally have it all figured out for you yeah so we'll um we'll get all this stuff knocked out here and then i guess the next video that's gonna wrap it up here for today uh, you guys can go to God, we spent a whole video cutting something, cutting one item. It'd be like that sometimes. It'd be, it'd be like that sometimes, though. It was just unedited. Oh, our new turbo is potentially a slightly larger. Yeah, so we can't do anything until we get our new turbo here. We're going from a, a GT45 62 millimeter to a 78 millimeter VS Racing Turbo. And um, other than that, I mean, we got to get the turbo here, get it placed, get the accessory drive on, and then uh, a quick day, a quick half day of fab, just tacking that up, getting that where it needs to be, slap the intake on, run your cold side, and uh, we should be done with the turbo kit, done with the accessory yeah. drive, radiator, uh, AC compressor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the accessory drive on it. Yeah, that wouldn't be um, a bad idea. And water pump and all that, and then I th probably throw, throw the radiator in it also. Yeah. The plan is... I don't know how much more we'll film this. We'll probably film doing the turbo kit. Matt will probably do the wiring, possibly like off camera because it's tough to really capture wiring and make it look cool. Uh, and then we will, I guess, pick it up once it's time to drive, take it to the dyno, and then this is gonna be the new LS Nasty shop truck. So whenever we need to go pick up motors, run and get parts, we're gonna do it in style with 600 horsepower in a manual, five speed. Should be fun. Great shop truck. What do you have to say? MGS I can't, street cars. I can't wait to get me, you, and David in this little truck to go to lunch. I can't wait to start gapping fools in this thing. LTD, head cut off. Oof. Roll Oof. races only. Roll races only. All I know, Lamborghinis, they're going to be falling. Mustangs. Uh, 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 Corvettes. Uh, Corvettes. I mean, literally anything gets from a roll in this thing. Shop truck, too. Probably do it with a motor in the back. Talk All your you. Hondas. Done. What up? Phil, where are you at? Black Phil, where are you at? You want some smoke? You got it. Hit me up, Phil. I dare you to I dare you to drop a comment, Phil. I dare you to.